We're continuing to keep a close eye on the Gulf and Caribbean for possible cyclone formation. The Southern Plains could see another round of severe thunderstorms today. And a heat wave is headed out east. When could we possibly see those cooler than average temperatures return? It's September 9th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. Tomorrow, September 10th, is the historical peak of hurricane season. This is typically when we see the most tropical activity in the Atlantic. And the Atlantic right now is asleep. There have been a lot of favorable factors for an active hurricane season this year, but we haven't really seen that come to fruition. I do believe that may change as we get into the end of September and beginning of October, especially with us pushing more into that week La Nina, allowing that jet stream potentially to pull a little to the north. But for now, we're still looking pretty good. Our American model continues to show about 180 to 240 hours out the potential for a tropical cyclone making landfall somewhere in the Gulf or somewhere along the southeastern coast. You can see here, this is a tropical storm it wants to throw into Florida. And in our 12Z run last night, we actually had a tropical storm or potentially hurricane that would make landfall in North Carolina. But there's no model consensus on either of these things happening. As I've said in my previous videos, and I'll say it again, the main reason we really want to be paying attention right now is because we have some very warm waters in the Gulf and Western Atlantic. And well, of course, we're right around that peak hurricane season. I'll continue to watch the tropics and let you know if there's any new developments. We once again have the potential today for some strong to severe thunderstorms across portions of the Southern Plains. This includes Eastern Colorado, Western Kansas, Western Oklahoma, and the Panhandle of Texas. As of right now, this threat is looking mainly wind and hail driven as we have less than a 2% chance for tornadoes. These strong to severe thunderstorms do look like they may be firing up at around three to four in the afternoon, and they should continue to push off to the south and east as we get later into the evening. I do think we could get a tornado risk zone later in the day as we do have some decent tornado parameters out here. But we're also gonna have some of that inhibition, so this may end up not being too bad of a night. As always though, it's better to be safe than sorry, so if you're out here today, make sure you have your weather alerts on. Our latest GFS run has temperatures 20 to maybe even 30 degrees above average out east as we get into next week. While the west cools down slightly from that heat we've been seeing over the past couple weeks. Although the American model does think the third week of September may bring back some of those chilly temperatures to the plains and out east. Our Euro model, however, wants to keep that chokehold of heat out here for a little bit longer. Personally, I think we're gonna have to wait until at least the last week of September or first week of October to see a big cool down for the lower 48 again. Taking a look at our 48 hour rainfall forecast, as you can see, most of the country is staying dry except for Florida once again. And while some precipitation looks to move back into the Northern Rockies, the East looks to stay dry at least for the next four to five days. Again, besides you, Florida. I I appreciate you watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your weather questions. I'll see you in the next video.